At this point in the course, you might view Microsoft Excel as a complicated software application or believe it's only used for working with financial data. However, Excel is designed to be very user friendly and can assist with many different types of data and tasks. In this video, you'll discover Excel's primary purpose and use cases and explore key parts of the software's user interface, including the command tabs. AdventureWorks, a multinational manufacturing company that produces and distributes bicycles and accessories globally, needs to input some data into Excel. To assist with this task, the company has recruited you and your several new employees. However, before starting the task, the company has decided to train you to use the software so that you can improve your experience with Excel. This training will help you better manage and analyze the data required for the task at hand. Let's begin by understanding what Excel can do for AdventureWorks. Microsoft Excel is a software application that businesses use to store data like financial figures and create calculations based on this data. Users can interpret the data they store by creating visuals or using Excel's built-in analysis features. They can then use the insights derived from these interpretations to inform business strategies or influence decisions. With AdventureWorks' vast product line and global presence, Excel's capabilities will be crucial in managing and analyzing its data efficiently. Before you can start using Excel, it's essential to understand how to navigate the software's user interface and locate the features you need. Excel's user interface is designed to be accessible and includes various elements that help you interact with the software effectively. The first of these elements is the title bar. It's located at the top of the Excel window and displays the name of your file, the search option, and other essential features. The worksheet is the primary area where you can input data into cells using either the keyboard or other input devices. The command tabs are located below the title bar and provide quick access to Excel's hundreds of commands, which are organized in areas called tabs or ribbons. To find the command you need, click on the relevant tab to reveal the related commands. Let's take a few moments to explore these features and discover how you can use them to input data. One of the main areas of Excel is the grid. This area contains the worksheet, which is where you enter data or information. It's divided into rows and columns and you input information into cells where a column and row intersect. Just above the worksheet is the formula bar. When you type information into a cell in the spreadsheet, it appears in both the cell and the formula bar. When you create a calculation, the result appears in the cell while the formula that drives the result appears in the formula bar. In other words, the formula bar always shows the actual contents of the cell. There is a green title bar at the top of the screen. On the left is the autosave button. In the browser version of Excel, you can find the app launcher button here, which you could use to access other Microsoft 365 programs. The title bar also contains a useful undo button. When autosave is turned on, Creating a new Excel document automatically assigns the name book to your new file. You can view the file name within the title bar. To rename a file, select the title bar and type an alternative name. File names can contain spaces and capital letters. You can also use punctuation marks. However, it is best to avoid the use of punctuation marks as some characters are not permitted. Also, file names can contain a maximum of 255 characters but it's recommended that you use 31 characters at most. You can select the same box to manage the location in which you store the file. To the right of the file name is the search feature. Select the search box and then select find to open a dialog box where you can search for content like texts or figures in your files. You can use the options choice in the bottom right of the dialog box to refine and control Excel searches. You can also search for a recent action you've applied to a cell. Next, let's explore the command tabs. Excel has hundreds of commands organized in storage areas called tabs or ribbons. You can select a tab heading to view its ribbon and related commands. Let's review the most frequently used tabs. The home ribbon is the first ribbon that appears when you open a file. It contains the most frequently used commands you'll rely on for standard everyday tasks like formatting and sorting data. You can use the commands on the insert ribbon to add different elements to a file like charts or comments. The draw ribbon offers you drawing tools for marking your worksheet, while the page layout ribbon lets you alter the appearance of a spreadsheet when printed. 
The formulas ribbon contains commands that you can use to manage more complex calculations. You can use the data ribbon to perform different actions with data, such as transform, query, sort and filter operations. AdventureWorks are expected to work with large blocks of information and the data ribbons, sort and filter commands are useful for these tasks. You'll mostly use the commands on the review ribbon once you've created a spreadsheet. For example, you can use them to manage security settings or collaborate with colleagues. The view ribbon offers Excel users commands to make it easier to view large spreadsheets, such as the freeze pane, which keeps titles visible when moving through data blocks. There are also extra tabs called contextual tabs that appear during specific actions or when certain items are selected. For example, if you add a bar plot to your worksheet, then the chart design and format tabs appear on screen. These extra tabs contain commands relevant to the tasks you're working on. This demonstration provided only a brief overview of Excel's interface, and it's completely normal if you feel like you need more help with this information. Learning any new software requires time and practice, so don't worry if you don't fully understand everything just yet. As you continue through the course, you'll have more opportunities to explore these commands and features in greater depth, and you'll become more comfortable with Excel's interface. By learning about its key elements, including the command tabs, you've built a solid foundation of Excel's primary purpose and use cases. Keep up the good work.